Your training will make you able to decide when to operate and when to refer a patient to someone more experienced so that each woman requires only one repair. Surgery should take place at least three months after injury and the patient should be healthy, not pregnant, with normal haemoglobin levels and HIV negative or with low viral load. For optimal access to the fistula, put the patient in the dorsal lithotomy and Trendelenburg position. Use adequate light and a seat belt or shoulder braces to prevent her from sliding. Inject dilute adrenaline around the fistula and while it works, take measurements of the bladder depth, urethra, vagina and fistula. Sharply circumscribe the fistula with an 11 blade, scoring the vaginal epithelium and create lateral flaps on each side. Make sure to look for the ureters before excising the fistula using the scalpel or scissors. Close with tension-free 2-0 vicral uninterrupted sutures and perform a dye test to check for leakage. If there is any dye leakage, look for the defect and place another suture there. Once the dye test is negative and you are confident that there's no tension, close the vaginal epithelium and insert a vaginal pack to prevent a hematoma or bleeding. After the operation, the patient requires monitoring by a clinician for 24 hours, including regular observation of her blood pressure, heart rate and temperature. Remove the vaginal pack the next day, make sure the catheter is draining freely and keep it in for 7 to 14 days as required, depending on the complexity of the procedure.